Do we know when Mountain Dew was first dude? Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. Okay, Rhett, do you remember your first cold one? Yeah, you were there. I was a good model citizen. I waited until my 21st birthday and we had a Colt 45 on a camping trip. <laughs> Four people shared it with, with one another. <laughs> I remember that, but I was talking about soda. Oh. Uh, today's not really about the first soda we ever tasted anyway, so forget that. But it is about the first time famous sodas were tasteable. It's time for Gear Eye with Two Straight Guys, Soda Edition. Welcome to the Shuffle Zone. Each round, we're gonna reach into our cooler for a popular soda that was invented during a particular decade. Now we're gonna taste that soda, and then we're gonna guess which decade the soda was invented in by shuffling our punk koozies down to that exact decade. We're not gonna miss it all. That's right, and whoever lands closest to the right answer wins the round. That's revolutionary when wow. you play a game. <laughs> and the loser of the game has to chug an ice cold soda super fast to get a brain freeze. Let's shuffle. shuffle. Let's see what we got first. Okay. Ooh. My, this is my wife's favorite beverage, so in honor of her, I will drink it. Well, hey, it's your best friend's favorite beverage too. Is it? Yeah. yeah cheers. Dr. Yeah. Pepper. Mmm. Hey, uh, that, that sucks, man. I love it so much. And you know what? I, not an ad, but not a sponsor. I'll say that, because that's what we always say. <laughs> I'm not yeah, changing it change to not that. an ad. Diet Dr. Pepper tastes exactly like regular Dr. Pepper in my mind. That's why I love it so much. Uh, so medicinal. And I think there's some sort of medicinal qualities in that a lot of these sodas started in that way. You're going first, because you won last time, which gives me the advantage, at least on this I first I what time. last time? You barely won last time, I think. I think I won on a technicality. Technically. Okay, Link, I believe you're right. Dr. Pepper was a medicine and Coke had cocaine in it. <laughs> I've watched the movies. Um, this feels like a late 1800s thing, right? Well, the, the earliest you have is 1890s and then the latest you have is 1980. Well, the earliest we have is 1880, actually. Oh, yep, there it is right there. Something about 1890 feels better than 1880. <sighs> I have no reason why. Let's see what I can do. A gentle shuffle by the Redster takes him all the way to <laughs> oh, 1890. Woo, woo, woo! All right, well, you, you know, you've put yourself in a corner which backs me into a corner. Don't put baby in a corner. Because now I just got to play the vicinity. Well, it's not about uh, the dates. Can, what, what about 1880? Yeah, I'm going to play. Oh, you're saying just go for the center of the Christmas tree. No, I'm, I'm going to block you out. Well, don't screw it up. Here we go. Uh-oh. Come on. Oh no! <laughs> I've I've made it a tad bit interesting. Well, if it's 1880, you might be closer. We'll, we might have to measure. Okay. Although the recipe for Dr. Pepper is a secret and is rumored to be kept in two halves at two different banks in Dallas, Texas, it's no secret that Dr. Pepper was first invented in the 1880s. Oh! 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 Okay, oh, oh, okay, oh, oh. okay, okay we okay. got to measure, Chase. Oh, you're closer, man. I don't know. Let's just measure, just because. 28 and a half. 28 and a half. 30. 30. Okay. All right, Link, Link takes it. Can I just point out that the established <laughs> 1885 is on, on the, the freaking can, can And of I was Dr. looking Pepper. at the can, but I was reading the 23 flavors. And, and I'm a connoisseur and didn't even know that. I feel so, so much shame. Rhett, take yourself a Sprite, my friend, and don't look at the cans. Well, don't, don't look if there's any I saw lemon, I it. saw lemon. Dinky. Lime. Sprite, that's it. I mean, it's a classic crisp cola. Uh, it's definitely not as old as, it's definitely not as old as a Dr. Pepper because apparently Dr. Pepper is the oldest thing on the entire taste list today. Taste list. Well, let's see. Lemon and lime, that, well, that's an when edgy. When were those in that's head? A, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's an edgy combination. Edgy? Two different citruses? Yeah, I think that's edgy. When You you, you don't know if that's going to be explosive. Or you is know? it citri? Um, I'm really thinking that it was, shoot, man. I, I have nothing to go on here except that it's not 1880. I think this one's much later. Mm -hmm. 1950, you know, everybody's like, oh, look at me, I have some citrus. 
Yeah, right. This is how everyone talked in the 50s. Yeah, the citrus age. <laughs> okay. For no good reason, I'm going for the 1950. Could be 70, though. I don't think it's earlier than that. So I'm going to split the difference. A ten... Stop, 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 stop! Right. What happened to you? you? Seriously? A little too aggressive. Dang it! Hey, if you're not used to Dr. Pepper. You got a little pepper in you. Why is it sliding so and it much? And gave you a little extra power. So what do you think? Yeah, I mean, you got free reign of the board. What's your answer? Link, I think you're wrong. I think that 1930s is what I'm going for because I feel like what happened was what used to be a different soda and then with the depression, they like ran out of the stuff that makes soda have a color and it became clear and they were like, well, it's a depression, Sprite. So you think Sprite was the first yellow soda? You think it's yellow? Is it white? It's clear, dude. <laughs> Have you not seen a glass of Sprite? That is a little yellow. As you said, it doesn't really matter because you're off the board. So all I have to do is just get closer. So I'm gonna go right on the edge of you. Oh, Rhett, you've done a bad thing, man. Oh, <laughs> now, I've done see, a good thing. So now, hold on, I could win. If it's 1980, you could win. Like That's the only way you could win. While people have been obeying their thirst with Sprite ever since those ads in the 90s, folks in West Germany first invented the Lyman soda all the way back in the 1950s. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you man. You were right, I was, I was but warped. you were wrong. We're tied. <laughs> Now, before we continue, if you've been wondering what the Mythical Society is all about, well, we have a free app that you can download now, and you can also become a initiate, which is a free level of membership where you can go on the app and just browse everything that the Society has to offer. Yeah, unprecedented access to all things Mythical. Please check it out. Available for free on iOS and Android. Go to mythicalsociety.com slash app to check that out. Crack it open, Rhett. Oh, the pride yeah. of the Carolinas. Pepsi Cola, 150 calories per can. Dink it. Did you say that by memory Dink or by reading? It. Oh man, now you're going first. And I should know a lot about Pepsi because I was born in the Carolinas along with Pepsi. I don't know about you. I don't think you were born in the Carolinas. No, I wasn't born in the Carolinas, but I spent quite a lot of time there. <laughs> Yeah, you did. I never went to the Pepsi plant. I never took a tour. Have you been to the Pepsi Museum? No, not interested. I um, have, so I should know everything. J.C. Bradham, inventor of Pepsi. I think that's his name. Are you kidding? Nope. Well, keep telling me the information. Down, down <laughs> east. And what year was that? <laughs> uh, he wor I think he worked in a, um, a drugstore. You know, he was like okay. a soda jerk. So here's, here's the deal. I think that Pepsi was a response to Coke, right? And Coke feels old because of that whole cocaine thing, and they didn't really understand what was happening with the cocaine. So I feel like this is either 1900 or 1910. All right. I'm gonna go with 1900. Oh, that's a good, <laughs> oh, you really got the I got touch, the touch today, man. Yeah, that's right. Okay. I've been thinking a lot about shuffleboarding. Um, okay, okay, so see, my answer was 1940. What I've got to do is I've got to knock you away and still try to stay on the board. But my answer is 1940. Oh yeah, that was it. Hold on, well if it's 1910, then I'm still in Shoot, business, I think it's friend. 19, I just feel 1940 really strongly. Pepsi was created in New Bern, North Carolina by Caleb Bradham. Oh. He called it Brad's drink and sold it at his drugstore in the 1890s. Oh, no! <laughs> hey, look at me. I'm, I ended up in the right answer. How did that happen? You did it. You're welcome. What do we have here? Oh, the dew. Mountain dew it to it. You, to, we should always pop and then toast. Yeah. Pop and toast. Mm-hmm. I got a special bond with the dew ever since we took the mountain out of it through the filter. Right, but we also have a little bit of a hang up with the dew because we're Mellow Yellow boys. That's right, that's right, I love me some Mellow Yellow. And they do not taste the same, I don't care mm -hmm. what you say, how many times you make that argument, no. they don't taste anything like each other. Mellow Yellow has more bite. <laughs> but, when is it from? When is it from? When yes. is it from? First of all, Mountain Dew sounds like a name for moonshine, right? Like a, uh, like a creative name for moonshine. Yeah. White lightning in the Mountain Dew. So it feels like, ooh. Ooh. Oh, you thinking something? 
prohibition, my friend. Remember that? You weren't there, neither was I. I don't think I was either. But it was in the 30s. And I think it started in the 20s, lasted into the 30s. And so it feels like they're like, hey, we can start calling non-alcoholic beverages the same name as alcoholic beverages because people want them so bad and they can't get them. 1930. Oh, that's pretty good, man. Too hard. Too hard. Bounce back. Come Way on. Way too hard. Bounce back. God dang it! I, I like your reasoning. Yeah, well, you can take it. I mean, the board is mine. I actually think, based on your reasoning, it was a little later. You know, that would have been too soon. That would have been like you're trying to glorify drinking in a prohibition age. So you think 40s. But, you know, I've thought it's 40s before and I've been wrong. I'm just gonna try to box you in right here. I'm sorry for my unentertaining defensive play, but I gotta do what I gotta do. Stop, oh, stop, stop, oh, stop, yeah. stop, oh. stop, stop, stop. Oh, okay. I can't win, there's no way. Can't win. Okay, tell us. Even though it started out as something for the Hartman brothers to mix with their bourbon, ah. people have been doing the do ever since Mountain Dew was first invented in the 1940s. Oh, okay. So, so hey, we worked as a team yeah, we to did. come up with the right answer, but it doesn't you really matter. You still lose, because we're not a team. Right. It all comes down to this. Ooh, diet, diet Coke. Coke. Bam. Cheers. Let's see. I had a lot of Diet Coke in my life. I bet you Diet Coke came out after regular Coke, but before new Coke. Remember that? Yeah, it was short-lived, wasn't very good. I'm a Coke Zero fan myself. Now, <laughs> I go first because we're tied and I won the last time we played this on an episode. So giving you a slight advantage. But I am not gonna do any any knock and bumpers. Because you're not allowed moves. to on right. the final round. We're not allowed to bump each other. Now, Diet Coke. Man, when do they start thinking about this aspect of life? Caloric intake. So we go from 1950 to 1970, and I feel yeah. pretty strongly it's not 1980 because I was around in the 80s and I would remember the introduction of such a beverage. We would have had like a celebration at school or something. I don't think we would have cared about Diet Coke. Uh, no, it's like a shuttle launch. Okay. Uh, so I'm gonna go with, I think 50s is too early to be worried about your waistline. I think it's the 70s. But if you agreed to that, but you can't knock me out, I just have to make sure that I land on 70 and don't go too far, if that is indeed the right answer. Whew, come on, Red. Ooh, light touch. Still overshoots it yeah! by a good margin. You cannot hit me now. You cannot I don't hit wanna me. hit you. Now, here's the thing. So you, you, so you thought it was 70s. But it might be 50s, and I'm pretty close I think to it's both 50s. answers. I think it's 50s. And that, I ain't gonna touch you but I'm gonna go for 50s on the 70s side, you know what I'm saying? Because I don't want that brain freeze. Very precise. Can you do it? <laughs> whoa, 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 yo! Oh, man. Okay, all right, first of all, if it's 70, you win because you're closer. If it's 50, I win because I'm closer. Stevie? While it's true that unlike a regular can of Coke, a can of Diet Coke floats in water, this does not mean that Diet Coke is actually a witch, but rather that this artificial sweetener-based soda was invented in the 1980s. What? I don't remember it, but I win! <laughs> oh man, I'm closer, chug it, I got Link. a brain freeze. Chug it, Link. Chug it, chug it, chug it, chug it. Don't give up, don't give up, don't breathe. Don't breathe, keep going. <laughs> You gotta keep it going, oh. keep it going. All right, while he recovers from that, thank you for subscribing and clicking that bell. <laughs> <laughs> you know what time it is. Oh. Hello, I'm Nika. And I'm Mariano. We're about to taste the new Coca-Cola with coffee. Here in Buenos Aires, Argentina. And it's time to spin the, the wheel, wheel of, of mythicality. Did they like it? Nice. I don't know. Click the top link to watch us pick our favorite flavor of Mountain Dew Kickstart and Good Mythical More. And to find out where the Wheel of Mythicality is gonna land. Are you a member of the Mythical Society? Want an even easier way to dig into content like Behind the Mythicality and Retin Link React? Well, download the new free mobile app now in the Apple and Google Play stores.